Happy Sunday. Thank you for joining me today. I'm Jennifer Kirk. I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator and I am sharing with you a um, one of my favorite parts of the uh, new holiday catalog. This paper, it's a feels like frost sweet and this paper is absolutely gorgeous. I'm just trying to get my video going here so I can make sure that I'm that you can see <laughs> what I'm looking at. So if you look at it's page 41 of the catalog um, and what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be dealing with some of this absolutely gorgeous DSP. So I don't know about you but my life is extremely hectic, very very busy and there's times that I have to really I don't have a card in my stash but I need one really bad so this paper is absolutely perfect for that it is just gorgeous on its own you can make really really quick simple and stunning cards with this DSP so today we're gonna be looking at the DSP all right so it comes in a pack it's six by six there are 12 designs and you get four of each design. So I'll just go through what the, the pictures are here. So, and it's all frosty. So if you look at, you can see all these just beautiful for winter, um, Christmas, New Year's cards. Like just imagine this with as a Christmas card. And really all you need to do, is stamp a sentiment, put it on some cardstock and put a ribbon or something and you're done. Like just stunning. These are just absolutely beautiful. Here's some more ice. This is the one that we're going to be working with today. Okay, just so many possibilities. And then on the back is foil. So you have different, you have white or silver foil, snow, you can do that. Snow, can you imagine some snowmen on that? Packaging, just absolutely gorgeous. Okay, you can see it all shimmery. This has to be one of my favorite DSPs in, in the new holiday catalog. So we're going to do a really quick and simple card today. I always need thank you cards. So we're going to make this card today. So again, very, very simple, not a lot to it. So it's not gonna take us long to do this. So let's, okay. So what we need is we need a piece of gorgeous grape cardstock cut at, uh, what is this cut at? four and a quarter my mind but it's Sunday it's time to go get dinner so anyway it's cut in half of an eight and a half by eleven cut in half then you have a piece of the DSP um, cut at five and a quarter by four I then used uh, and then I just have the same size for the inside for the white there then I used um, some more gorgeous grape with the ornate frames which is also in the holiday catalog but it's in the Halloween and and I missed this the first few times through uh, through the catalog and I this is my go-to now for any sentiment it is just absolutely gorgeous so all we're gonna do is we're gonna take this we're gonna add some Rinka Stella just so that we have a little bit of shimmer all right I'm just making sure that my head's not in the way. So all we're gonna do is just go around the outside, just add a tiny bit of shimmer. You could also use um, our shimmer paint to do this and you could put it in a spritzer and just spray it and that would be a lot faster. Uh, but this is really simple. There we go. That's it. So we're going to take this. Okay, I am going to, again, I always need thank yous. You could put anything on here, but I'm going to do another thank you card. So 
gorgeous grape. All right, and I'm gonna put it off to the one side a little bit, just so that um, I can put a bow on it. All right, voila. Then this is ready to be glued down and I'm just using my regular tumble. Pieces of cardstock everywhere. All right, there we are. Set it down, and now we're ready to put our card together. So, add some more tumble. You don't need a lot. This glue is amazing. Put it down. Center it. Okay, how stunning is that? All it is is DSP and cardstock. That's all we've done. Okay, and then I'm going to stick this down. You can pop it up if you want. I will lay it flat. There we are. All right, now if you don't have ribbon, that's the color that you want. Like we could have, I could have done this in white and that would look pretty. This is the um, polka dot tule ribbon, okay? So I could have done it in white, um, but you kind of lose it a little bit on, on the white sentiment there. So wonderful thing with stamping up is you can take your blends. Now we don't have a gorgeous grape blend, but we do have a Highland Heather so you can take your blends and color your ribbon. How easy is that? All right, so I'm just gonna go and I'm just gonna add some purple. Oops, would help if I got it on the ribbon, wouldn't it? This is all you have to do, just color it. I'm not the best at tying ribbons, so no laughing when I get to the ribbon part here. Or to the bow part. I always get one of my friends to do it for me because she's a perfectionist at it and she can do it so well and so quickly. And I struggle. All right, let's see if that's enough colored there. So all I'm gonna do just do the two rabbit ears, stick it around. I'm gonna get my fingers sorted out here. Bring it out underneath through the little hole. And there. You do wanna just let it dry for a couple seconds. I went straight ahead, so I'm getting a little bit of ink on me, but not a big deal. All right, voila, there you go. So if you ever need a ribbon and you don't have the color that you need, stamping blends, They that way you have as many colors as you need. So we're just gonna adhere that with some glue dots. If I can find my glue dots, where did I leave my glue dots? There they are, all right. forgot to mention that the sentiment I got from the Magnolia Bloom set. I'm just trying to see where I'll, I'll, I'll bring out the stamp set in a second so you can see. I'm going to use two glue dots on there just because the worst thing that can happen. Well, not the worst, but it's never good if your, if your bow falls off. And there you are. How long did that take us? Five minutes? 10 minutes maybe, if I wasn't talking. All right, so inside of the card, we're gonna take this. Um, here's another sentiment too. It says, I'm saying thank you, not only for what you do, but for, for being someone so special. And I'm just gonna stamp that. You can leave it blank too. Maybe I'll leave this one blank. Instead of stamping it, you can see here, I just did that. But I'll leave this one blank in case there's something else that I want to write. And 
And we'll just glue it in. And there you are. Voila. Done. Easy peasy. All right. So the stamp sets that I used. Okay, the thank you came from the Magnolia Bloom. So this is actually um, par not part of the Good Morning Magnolia, which is in the annual catalog, but it is actually available in the uh, beginner brochure. And it's really, it's just beautiful. And it complements the Good Morning Magnolia set perfectly. So it just gives you a few more sentiments and a couple other flowers. It is a photopolymer as opposed to red rubber like these ones are but they complement each other and they are just stunning so that's it that's our card didn't take long at all if you're in a pinch this paper is gorgeous I'm going to be making a few more cards uh, to share with you from this set and uh, thank you for joining me if you'd like to place an order um, please visit me on my online store and please use the host code here if you uh, if you live in Canada. Thank you very much. Have a great week and we will talk soon. Bye bye.